Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to some great news. Uh, basically, Xamarin has just been released for free and open source. Now, first off, we have to go back in time a little bit on the history here. Now, you see, right now, Microsoft has their annual conference for developers going on called Microsoft Build 2016, and it's sort of a showcase of all of Microsoft's development technology, where they're going, etc. Uh, Amazon has one of these, Apple has one of these, uh, and Microsoft, of course, has one of these, and they've been doing this for 15, 20 years. I went to a few of these years ago. They used to have a different name. Name, but this developer conference has been going on for a very long time and we normally get a number of neat announcements out of it and you see about uh, well February 24th Xamarin was purchased by Microsoft. Now, Xamarin is the company that made Mono, which is the cross-platform implementation of the .NET runtime. In essence, this is the product that allowed you to run .NET applications on uh, Windows, Unix, um, iOS, and Android, ultimately. And those iOS and Android ultimately turned into Xamarin. And Xamarin is the, now the company behind and supporting Mono, as well as the company that makes, <coughs> sorry, Xamarin Studio, an IDE for deploying applications to Android and iOS. And ultimately for game developers, that's been the important part. If you use a C-sharp based game engine or VB.net or F-sharp based game engine and you want to support iOS or Android, you've had to pay the Xamarin tax. And Xamarin used to cost, I think, either $349 or $399 per developer per platform. So if you were making an iOS and Android game, you had five developers on your team, you were looking at about five grand out of your pocket in the Xamarin tax. As of today, no more. So not only is it completely free with an asterisk, it's also going open source. And we'll get back to that in a second. Now back to the free part, it is now going to be included as part of Visual Studio. If you go to the Xamarin store, let's go forward here, you'll see this page right here. So basically in Xamarin Studio community, it's free. Visual Studio community, which is the free tier, it's free. Now the Xamarin Studio community, sorry, um, Visual Studio community has a limitation of less than either one or two million dollars a year and five developers. So if you're a bigger studio, you probably still have to pay for your Visual Studio license. Also, at the very, very top end, there's some enterprise features that you will still have to pay for. But for 99.9% .9 of game developers, especially indie game developers, Xamarin is effectively free now. And on top of that, uh, as I mentioned, it's gone open source. It's gone open source under something called the .NET Foundation. The .NET Foundation is an umbrella for a number of technologies, including, say, the microframework, ASP.NET, ASP.NET Razor, or uh, MVC, um, the ORCID uh, content management system, the Ubercrow company management system, some Xamarin software that already exists, etc. So it basically, it's an umbrella um, foundation for a number of .NET uh, related projects. So Xamarin is going to be incorporated as part of that. Now we don't actually know at this point exactly what license it is, but in an interesting move at the same time, they also announced, um, and this was found by Mario Zechner of LibGDX fame, that they relicensed the uh, Mono runtime to run under MIT licensing. Uh, so right now, the majority of code in the in the uh, .NET Foundation, the majority of these projects, such as the Roslyn compiler, the Compact Framework, etc., are released under the Apache 2 license, uh, whereas now Mono is going to be the MIT license. So what we're probably going to see is Xamarin under one of those two licenses. And realistically, as the I am not a lawyer quick definition, both those licenses basically boil down to do what you want, have fun, don't sue us. So from a developer's perspective, those are probably the two best licenses code can be released under. So if it goes one way or the other, it's not going to affect us a great deal. Now let's go back to this .NET Foundation thing for a second. And this is key, this is very important. At the same time as this announcement, they also announced that uh, Red Hat, I believe it was, um, JetBrains, the makers of IntelliJ, uh, Refract, um, ReSharper, etc., and Unity all just joined the .NET Foundation. Now, Unity is the key one. Now, the thing is, Unity has been using a version of the .NET runtime that was released somewhere around the end of World War II. It's C-sharp version 2.x. So many things are missing from it. Uh, parallel programming, async, some of the generic changes, etc. So we are stuck with a very ancient version of C-sharp. And since then, we're into five, I think six might be in beta now. So. It's way behind, and they use their own technology called IL2CPP to transpile C# -sharp code over to CPP code, which is then compiled natively. And it's going to probably take some time for them to get up to date. But the fact that they joined the .NET Foundation alongside those other companies today leads me to believe that we should see 
a modern version of C-sharp in Unity very soon. Now, we're still waiting for a formal announcement on that, but it is exciting news. Now, on the same time, though, if you are looking for a C-sharp game engine, there are a number of them out there, and these are already using um, Mono or uh, Xamarin to support iOS and Android. So now, basically, using them just became a whole lot cheaper if you want to support all of those platforms. And if you go to GameFromScratch.com and up to Game Engines, I've done a list of a number of different game engines. I've done reviews or in-depth getting started guide kind of uh, hybrids. And you can see a number of them on my channel as well. But this engine, Duality, Otter, Wave, Paradox, which is now called Zenco, all four of those are basically gigantic winners in today's announcements. Now you can basically use any one of those and support iOS and Android for effectively free. While you're at it, if you're interested, go over to a tutorial section, you'll see Mono Game, which is a, a port of XNA, basically the spiritual successor to Microsoft's XNA game framework. Um, I've also done a tutorial series for it, and it is going to be a big winner here too, because it is now going to get iOS and Android uh, platforms for free, which goes along with uh, the two or three oh, two or three weeks ago at GDC, Microsoft announced that uh, Xbox One support for Mono Game is coming as well. So Mono Game is a big winner this week. So they now have um, Xbox One, iOS, and Android support completely free now. Uh, so if you're interested in getting started there, I do do a complete tutorial series here as well. And I've also done one for Paradox for getting started, which, as I said, is now called Zenco. Uh, so that's some pretty big news. We've seen, uh, as of today now, one of the big detriments to choosing uh, .NET as your language of choice is now gone away. If you want to support iOS or you want to support Android, you are golden. No extra price tag involved. Only if you're in a large company making several millions of dollars will you continue to have to pay. And hopefully, even if you're in that situation, Situation. You're just having to pay for your MSDN license and nothing more. So all told, a great win for uh, C Sharp developers everywhere. And frankly, I'm a huge fan of the language, so I've been waiting for years for Microsoft to buy Xamarin first and to make this announcement today. I was not expecting them to open source it, so that is even nicer. So you can't have those people sitting back all paranoid that, oh, it's Microsoft, they could change their mind. Well, they can't. It's out there, it's open source. If you want, you can now fork it and do what you want with it. So excellent and great news. Uh, if you were thinking about jumping onto the .NET bandwagon, now is a great time. Well, I'm Mike from Game for Scratch, and I, 